Well, Thor, uh, the second one I'll eat her. Wasn't it Thurs? Yeah, Thurs tried to attack us, tried to kill us, failed pathetically at it, and I only has 738 health left. So, we're gonna finish this with Thurs right here and now. Do it! Because, except for the minus one, he's the only one here, and the minus ones are not gonna be too hard. If this doesn't kill him first, which I don't think. Or it will. Okay, no need to use the demon blast. Though. That works just fine. And we need to come and finish these guys up. Piece of cake, this video. My gosh. I was expecting some hard battle. I mean, geez. Anyway, but, but, but no, I'm Sir Thurus on a silver platter. Ow, another level? Or someone. Oh, even that. <coughs> I'm still coughing from when I was sick with the flu and I was recording, as you guys know. Um, or after I recorded then. And so, yeah, that's why I'm coughing. Eliminate him so he doesn't get a turn. <laughs> oh, level 27. No wonder these guys are so freaking easy. Okay, that won the stage up. No enemy reinforcements, no nothing. Just Lord Thurst and his now mindless once he sums up. So get to Lord Thurst as fast as you can. Every turn you spend trying to get to him, he will summon up a mindless one, making your battle longer. Okay. So let's continue on. This is my end! What a miserable way to go! But you will not escape without suffering! <coughs> Why does he have to have a longer one? You shall feel all feel the warm embrace of my Scarlet Iago! What's this mess? It's Scarlet Iago. It's the bacteria. Oh no! What 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 do we do? Quick, take your medicine. It should act as a vaccine. Does everyone have theirs? Trish, didn't you give yours to Shauna? Oh, don't worry. I managed to get my hands on another dose. Okay, everyone, drink up. Okay, let's drink the medicine. Yeah, that's better! Trish, why aren't you drinking yours? Oh, that's right, you don't like bitter medicine, do you? Well, you'll just have to grit your... Uncle, I'm sorry, I lied to you. It was a real blockhead thing to do, I know. The truth is, I don't have any extra medicine. The one I gave to Shauna was the last one we had. To Trish, why'd you let me drink mine? You should have taken it. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. That's why I had to lie. You've all been so kind. I drank mine too. What should we do?
Only a spoiled rich girl would throw throw her life away like that. Shauna! Here, take this. What is this for the Scarlet Iago? You mean you didn't drink it when I gave it to you? No, I did. I went and got some more just in case. But I don't need it now. And as much as I hate to admit it, I owe you. But you stole this, right? Don't worry about that. It was a gift. I once met this oddly kind person. They sent me the medicine when they heard I had the disease. I didn't need it anymore, but I figured it'd come in handy, so I kept it. At first, I thought about selling it off for a quick buck, but well, thanks to you and your stupid integrity, I felt bad for taking your medicine, so now I'm here to pay off my debt. An oddly kind person, huh? Very well, then. Thank you. Oh, heavens! That... It is bitter! <laughs> Good girl, you drank it all right? Then I guess I'll go get going. Don't expect to ever see me again. Shauna! Stay away! I don't want you to see me like this. Not again. Her hand! Those red spots. Ah! Uh, don't tell me! You never drank that medicine, did you? Why didn't you just take it? Ha! Still a gullible as ever, huh? You really thought that some kind stranger would just randomly send me the cure? You know these past 15 years. I lived by taking and being taken. My golden rule was, take whatever you want. But you, without even thinking twice, you offered me your dose, which cost who knows how much. To be honest, I thought you were mocking me. I mean, why would this clueless girl show me charity? But I took it because survival is more important than anything. That's what... What I was thinking while you stood before me with the cure. But afterward, I stood there holding it, and I couldn't drink it. I thought, I thought it was a waste for someone like me to have that medicine. <laughs> I must have been delirious. I mean, I always stole whatever I wanted, never thinking of anyone else. And then, <laughs> it's almost funny when you think about it. Come on, you can laugh. It's okay. <laughs> Shauna! That hairpin, you still have it. It's funny. That's just some cheap trinket I bought at a carnival. What did you say? Hey, could you? Just once. Could you call me? Sister. What? S sister. <coughs> Has such a nice ring to it. <laughs> My baby sister, all grown up, so big and strong. But that hairpin, it's not something a girl your age should be wearing. Your big sister will find you something much better. I'll pay for it, of course. Honest. I'll be perfect match. She's here. Shauna? Shauna! <clears throat> I don't know if my voice kept perfectly in that scene, but it is a touching scene, isn't it? More character development. And we don't just get it thrown at us in batches, no. We get it the slow teased out. <clears throat> but they're all dropping off like flies. Three people so far have died. I impossible. I don't know how, but... S sister? Well... And we still get the sad, depressing music. And we are actually going to start on the cutscene, but we won't be able to finish it. Not with 30 seconds. Or about 30 seconds. It seems Shauna has been putting herself under severe stress. I see. You look pale. I... I'm sorry. I need to be alone. So it goes. You think she'll be okay? She probably went to visit her sister's grave. No worries. I'm sure she'll be back when she settles herself. And we've got to end it here. See you next time.